Hi everybody, my name is Robin and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how I make my cat ears. What you're going to need is a paintbrush, wire, a ear pattern, a headband, acrylic ink or diluted acrylic paint, and your fur and a brush. And you're also going to need fabric scissors and a glue gun. The first thing that you need to do is to trace the pattern onto the fabric that you're using. Do this four times and both mirror the side of the other one, if that makes sense. You like draw one, mirror it, mirror it, mirror it. Right? So you have four pieces. Just look at what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> And here you have me adjusting the light because I realized that you can actually not see what I'm doing. Now you're gonna go in with your fabric scissors and cut the back of the fabric. It's important that you cut the back so that you do not cut any of the fur fibers uh, on accident. Which we obviously don't want. This process needs to be done carefully and it takes very long so I am going to cut through the footage. <laughs> oh my god that was terrible. <laughs> I am doing this unscripted by the way. There we go. Then we just sort the two ears together and we're going to take our wire and we're going to bend it into the shape of the ear, like along the edges so that it will hold its shape. I am using two thin pieces of wire that I wrapped together to form a little bit of a stronger wire. I would generally recommend that you use a stronger wire than I did to use this. If you do, however, you might need to use some pliers to bend it. Once you've finished bending one, then you can use that as a reference to bend the other one into the same shape. Now you're gonna need your glue gun and start gluing down the corners of the ear shape. You can just start out by gluing the entire wire down, but I personally prefer to first get the corners into place so that I don't accidentally shift them when working with them. And this also gives it the opportunity to dry before I actually start working on it. Once you glue the corners, you're gonna go along the edges and make sure that everything is glued to the ear. And you do this for the other ear as well. Then you're gonna go ahead and put the two pieces, the two mirrored pieces together. And you're gonna take your glue gun and gently glue the edges together. Make sure to press down as well as you can and try not to leave any gaps. So glue it, try folding them apart again and then come back to fill in the gaps. Also, don't forget to glue the bottom together. I always forget to do so. If you have any pieces that don't really overlap as nicely, you can just go in with a fabric scissor and cut them off. Then I like to take my brush and brush it all out. And then we're on to trimming. The best thing here is to keep a picture of what you're trying to achieve nearby. So here I already have like kind of an idea of what I want to do because I've made ears before and this is just my usual routine. Um, but if you don't, just try and keep a reference of a real cat ear nearby or wolf ear or whatever you're trying to achieve. And go in with your fabric scissors and trim the fur down. And this may take a while to get looking nice, but you can do it. It is easier if you have an actual pet trimmer, but it works if you just use scissors. And once you've finished one side and it's to your liking, you can go on to move to the other side. Now we're on to painting. So I'm using acrylic ink for this, but you can also use acrylic paint that's diluted with water. 
add a little bit where you want it to go. And then once you did that, you're going to take your pet brush and brush the paint into the fibers to make sure that it covers everything. And it also leaves a nice little gradient. You can also use an airbrush if you have one at your disposal, but I figured that I'd make this video as accessible as possible, so I'm not using any of the tools that I would usually use and that not everybody has. Now go in and mirror the same color on the other side with the other ear. I am adding another color in the center that's a little bit darker than the color that I already added. You of course don't have to do this, I just like to add it as a little bit of shading. Although in the end I did think that it was a little more pink than I wanted it to. You can of course always mix colors to make them look a little bit more natural. Brushing it out also prevents the paint from clotting up the fibers, which makes it uh, stay fluffy instead of making the fibers feel hard and rough. Then once you're finished, you just brush the entire ear out and then you attach it to the headband, which I forgot to show, but it's very straightforward, you just kind of wrap the wires around the headband and yeah then they're finished and here we have some awkward <laughs> videos that I made for the I dress up as my doll video yeah so um, I hope you can use this tutorial thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time bye